welcome to Tai Chi Exercises with Rosalind and season six. In this season I've got lots of lovely exercises for you. We're going to do the golden glove exercise later and something completely different, Chinese massage techniques. And in today's video I'm going to explain bow stance. So we're going to do something really exciting. We're going to learn how to step in Tai Chi. And if you watch the video to the end, I'll explain the benefits of this step to you. And we're also going to learn how pizzas uh, fit in and using a pizza box can fit in to Tai Chi as well. Let's get started. What we're going to do today is review the postures that you've already learned in this series. And that is the attention posture, Wu Chi, horse stance, and then we're going to do our new move, bow stance. And I've brought my handy pizza box here to show and explain to you why we got a pizza box. Now, this box is roughly the width of my shoulders. And when we stand in Tai Chi, so I've drawn a box here to demonstrate, we stand in shoulder width posture, as you've already learned. And just for ease, any box shape will do. So it doesn't have to be a pizza. It could be a box shape that we're going to stand. And that's where we keep our center of gravity within this box so that being a martial art we're very stable. Now as always in Tai Chi so I'm going to tell you where the feet should go in relation to the pelvis but you know your body and just do what you're happy with. You may have problems, you may have reduced mobility in your hips and knees, you may have poor balance in which case you'd be holding onto a chair or perhaps doing this in sitting. Just do what you're happy with. Look after yourselves. Right, I've got some feet here and a pelvis. So now we're looking, this is a bird's eye view. We're looking down on somebody towards their feet. And if you can imagine, there's the pelvis there. And we'll just tilt it a bit so you can, you can see there's the pelvis. And the feet in the Wu Chi or attention posture are at 90 degrees to one another. So I'll just attach them here. These are copies of my feet. So I hope I can do this satisfactorily. Actually put those in a bit. It's just rough, but give you an idea. So, in Wu Chi, the feet are at 90 degrees to one another. And here is the pelvis as well. So you can see the position and within the box. And that's quite an unstable posture. So again, if you're not happy, make sure you're holding on to something or just leave it out and do the horse stance posture, which is wider. So we've got quite a narrow base here. And the next posture we have, I've got different colored feet here, is the horse stance posture. So if we're in this Wu Chi posture and we turn our feet out, so we just put them here. So the outside edge is parallel. There, best I can do. Get his outside edge parallel of the feet, and there we have horse stance. So we've gone from the Wu Chi and we've turned our feet out, and now we're in horse stance. And again, horse stance can be wider and it can be narrower, but that's basically we generally in the Tai Chi form stand in shoulder width. And there again, we have 
the pelvis. So the feet are at 90 degrees to the pelvis. Now, when I'm doing my classes for health, I don't insist that people have their outside edges of the feet parallel. There's a reason in the martial arts, it makes your knees more stable. You have your knees placed over the center of the foot and you are more stable. But if somebody has been standing, what I would call splar footed all their lives, and you suddenly tell them to, they must put their feet out, that's a bit extreme. Um, maybe again, there are reasons they can't do that. So I would encourage them to stand with their toes pointing forward, the outside edges, if they could. Um, and that's, whoops, that's the aim. But, you know, they, again, do what's comfortable. But that, that's the reasoning behind to make the feet more stable, the knees more stable. And our new posture, which you'll be excited to practice, I've got yellow feet for this, is bow stance. And now we have one foot in front and the other one at 45 degrees. I'll double, move that one a bit more forward, I believe. So now we have a front and a back foot and we're still standing within the square. There's our pelvis in the, in the middle there. A bit difficult to represent. So the front foot is at 90 degrees to the pelvis and the back foot is at 45 degrees to the pelvis. And we get there, going back to our green feet. I'll be explaining that um, from the horse dance posture, we turn the back foot out 45 degrees, if you can, uh, anywhere between 30 and 45 degrees. It needs to be comfortable. It needs to be within your own limit. And the front foot steps forward at least one step with. So you put your, see where your toes are. You put your heel where your toes are. Some people do longer again. And again, bow stance uh, can be narrower and can be wider. So it's going to vary, I think, which are, whichever, because there are different styles of Tai Chi. So it's going to vary. But those are the basic postures and that's your new posture. And obviously we can do the opposite side, that foot turning out and that foot outside edge again, parallel. And we're standing in the box. Fantastic. I hope you enjoyed learning about bow stance posture and the feet position. This exercise has many benefits. It's good for your balance, helps strengthen your legs, excellent for awareness of your body in space. And we'll be doing further exercises where we're moving in bow stance, transferring our weight from the front to the back leg and using this to step and eventually learning how to do Tai Chi walking. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, please press the like button. If you'd like to see further videos, please subscribe to my channel. Do look below for details of myself and the courses that I teach to allied health professionals. I hope to see you again very soon for more Tai Chi exercises. Happy Tai Chi.